today from Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is the National Football League. takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerged from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the Minnesota Vikings. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. But here we go for the first time with the Panthers offense led out by their new quarterback for 2021 in his fourth season overall now after three with the Jets. It's Sam Darnold. Many people put stock in a quarterback's record as a starter, and Sam Darnold just 13 and 25 overall with the Jets. So many think that he's not going to be the guy, but there's a lot of talent there, and the Carolina Panthers are expecting it to come out. This could be a classic case of a change of scenery could do him well, plus the surrounding cast that he's inheriting in Carolina better than anything he played with in New York. This is a great opportunity for Sam Darnold. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. To throw is Darnold. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards, first down, Panthers. Now Darnold. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Right back to him for 10 more and a first. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Darnold. He gets it to Thomas. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now... Looking for Marshall, but it's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. The Minnesota offense ready to go to work here. Their quarterback in his 10th season overall now, and fourth is a Viking, Kirk Cousins. And one nice thing you can always say about Kirk Cousins is that he's consistent, always puts up nice numbers each and every year. If there is a downside to his game, it's been the lack of playoff success. All in all, though, a formidable starting quarterback at a time in the league where it's tough to find your franchise guy. of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Cousins. Open here, Adam Thielen. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And that's why Dalvin Cook is the Minnesota Vikings feature back. You put the ball in his hands, good things happen. Second in the NFL last year in rushing with 1,557 yards. And that's now back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons with 30 combined 
total touchdowns. What a player is Dalvin Cook. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Eight yards to go on second down. Back to the ground, this time Cook. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Throwing the out route and complete. That's Osborne. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Just a five-yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. They'll run for it. Cook. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. No score after one on EA Sports. Cousins on first down. He'll find Thielen work in the middle. And the Vikings are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. Cook. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Looking at this now, you got a couple more cranks here. This close, sneak it. I don't think even go into a huddle. Just line up, snap it, and fall in behind those guys into the end zone. And incomplete. Well, you know you don't want to make a mistake in that area, so you make sure you make a smart throw. Throw it out towards the sidelines. If you overshoot your guy, so be it. It's just the incompletion that we saw there. They'll run for it with Cook. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Joseph's got it. And the Vikings have a 3 nothing lead. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. But I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, only gave up three points off of that, so it shouldn't be a difficult hole to overcome. It really shouldn't as long as they're not listening to the chatter coming from the other side because when you throw a pick, look, I know defensive backs, they have a tendency to be a little bit loud after they take one away, but they also have a tendency to gamble a little bit more thinking they'll get a second one. Maybe they can take advantage of that with some double moves. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A very solid gain of 27 from Viking territory now. They'll come up first and 10 at the 37-yard line. Faking the give, Darnold. To the right side, and he's got more complete. Touchdown, Panthers! DJ Moore, 37 yards. And the Panthers have taken the lead. And on that one, able to catch it, also able to have the wherewithal to take it in for the score. And how about the phases of a successful catch and a completion of a play? Look the ball in, secure the catch, and then, of course, the run after the catch that ends up in the end zone. Zane Gonzalez on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. The drive there only spanning three plays. And the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. And the Vikings taking the field here for their second drive of the game. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And 
when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But you also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. On second down now, it's Cook. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. Cousins. This one brought in by Jefferson. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Only needing two yards on second down. Cousins gives way to Cook. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. We'll remind you in just a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Orlando. Our good friend Jonathan Coachman. Coach will run through some of the numbers and the next-gen stats from this first half of football so far. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. He's going to get this one down to Cook. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Cousins now. Open man is Osborne. He's got him. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Now Cousins setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll go down at the 28. Not much there, only a yard. Second and nine. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They'll throw again. Cousins. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 24. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. After the interception, here's Darnold. Over the middle, that's complete to McCaffrey. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Darnold on first down. Now into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off near the 42. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Charles, I'm looking at you, and understandably, your mouth is wide open in disbelief. What were they thinking? That's going to be one of the great mysteries, but I do know this. When they went out on offense, I will guarantee they told them, don't just make anticipatory throws. Make sure you see it before you throw it. Didn't happen here. Trying to protect that lead, and now they gave it up. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. So we hit halftime with our visitors, the Vikings, taking the lead to the locker room as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, right, Brandon. Thanks very much. 
And welcome in, everyone, to this slimmed-down version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams as they've already made their way back out of the locker room. So to bring you the story of the second half, see you right back out to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going, so what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. Here's Jordan Berry now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Erickson now to return. And a seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And the Panthers will take over now first and ten. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Meanwhile, Darnold's throw is caught here by Anderson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A couple of former Jets, Darnold to Anderson, first down Carolina. They'll fake the handoff, now Darnold. That is caught by Anderson. And he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And Robbie Anderson makes a nice catch there for a first down. Now in his second year with the Panthers, but he has a history with Sam Darnold, his new quarterback. They played together with the Jets in Darnold's first two seasons, 2018 and 2019. That one good for 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. McCaffrey on the toss right. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Darnold now to throw. Quick slam caught by Moore. Touchdown, D.J. Moore on the touchdown throw from Sam Darnold. And the Panthers are going to jump back in front. I know we often laugh, and sometimes we even insult the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Gonzalez is able to tack on the PAT. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The Vikings ready to go again on offense. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it 
without letting panic creep in and affect their play. 46 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. That one complete to D.D. Westbrook. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. On second down. It's caught. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. They run again on first down. Cook, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. It's a gain of 16, and the Vikings have the first down as well. A give to Cook out of the gun. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 12 more yards there and another first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. Now the hit comes, and Cousins lost the football. And the Panthers have recovered. Well, the tide definitely seems to be turning in this third quarter as this defense is able to knock the ball free and recover. And let's look at it this way. Their offense is right back out there who just got them the lead a few minutes ago. This has the potential to be a big swing in this game. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Now they've got the lead here getting late into the third quarter. And the passing game for them, it's been terrific. We've seen that, but the rushing game almost non-existent. And with the lead and trying to finish this game off, they need the running game to come back to life. They need to get sparked that way, take some time off the clock, and keep the ball away from their opponents. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On first down, Darnold. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. To throw once more on second and 10. Darnold. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Darnold will hand off to McCaffrey. And he will have the first down as he's brought down up near midfield. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Play action. It's Darnold. That one complete to Anderson. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Well, a clear running situation. Trying to take time off the clock. He ran the previous play. Set that play action up nicely. Boy, did they ever because they had shown the ability to run the football. So now you lose your keys as a defense. You dive for the running play, and they hit them over the top. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now it's Darnold. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Moore. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. On second down, McCaffrey. And he'll go down at the 28. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. On first down, it's Darnold. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A good-looking drive so far for the Panthers and a first down here. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. 
And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Under four to go now as the clock runs, and they come up on second down. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey, and he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Gonzalez's kick is good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. Well, he was a spectator for much of this game. This is his first field goal opportunity of the entire contest, but he's able to connect. Yeah, he had a pretty good seat to this one, didn't he? But let's face it, all kickers that you and I know, they want to contribute. They want their opportunity, and he seized his. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And that last turnover could have proven more costly, but their defense only gave up three. But now answering with a field goal doesn't do them much on this drive. They need to try and find the end zone. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Tried to go back again to Adam Thielen. That'll bring up second down. Now he dumps this off over the middle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. Now Cousins. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Cousins now from the 50. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. Some extra space following the display of power. Down just inside the 45. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. Here's Cousins. Hooking up over the middle with Herndon. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Cousins. And this is Cook with a grab. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. The Vikings in the hurry up. They're hustling up to the line. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Cousins to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it. This defense, Charles, coming up with another interception. They have really done an excellent job of locking up these receivers. Yeah, they're really on fire. They are actually doing what they talk about all the time, which is plastering to receivers when they're in their zones. They didn't give up a touchdown in the first half. Haven't done so here in this half either. Blanket in the field going all the way back to the opening drive, and they come up with a pick right there. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Here's the Panthers punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon.
A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Cousins. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Probably time for two more shots and ideally they'd like to get the midfield or so so they have a chance at a Hail Mary on the final play. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. Oh, and that nearly ended it. That should have been intercepted, but he cannot corral it, and that is a lifeline there with third down coming up. One last shot now for Cousins. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got a man complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. 